Xavier, 14, diagnosed with cancer in his first stage and admitted to Children's Hospital. While he stayed there, many malpractices went on. The intensive care unit refused to wear uh, masks, gowns, everything they would forget occasionally. And Tanvir was a cancer patient. Viruses, things like that were extremely harmful, harmful to his body. One virus could totally kill him. And because of this, he got um, a fungus in his lungs because of no air protection and all of that. Other things that happened was um, he would be asking for a sip of water and the nurse would totally ignore it. And then at the end, he passed away um, because they didn't have an alarm on his heart rate. It went from 130 to zero and not one person noticed. The nurse didn't notice. Only when we called them did they notice that his pulse was gone. And by that time, it was too late to save him. And he died just half an hour ago. He was fine. And because of them, no alarm, no responsible nurses, and he passed away. And then after that, they refused to have any meetings. And in one informal meeting, the doctor claimed, oh, he was going to die anyways. That is not the way to talk to a grieving family. And we don't want this happening to any other children. Are you related with uh, this person, Tanvi? I'm his sister. And? And I'm his father. Okay. So what do you want to see that uh, other people should we don't really want be aware to. of the, this kind of the money, malpractice? Because they have uh, some negligence. That's the way he dies. And how did you find out? Well, because uh, we know they don't because they are not touching anything. They are not using gloves. They are not using marks, anything. When we told them he is a BMT patient, you have to be used that thing. No, but you know. So, but how because come they don't know? there's supposed to be an alarm that goes off throughout the whole unit as soon as your pulse goes down uh, point 0.1 one. and uh, from like if the alarm is set on 90 if it goes to 89 then there's a big alarm it went from 130 to 0 and there was no alarm oh, the so nurse didn't even realize he died there is no death time on his death certificate even when he don't have any any doctor that time no doctor no nurse nothing they just left him just they left him and they took from his normal room to ICO and ICO there are uh, some broken room they leave it without treatment 45 minutes to one hour after one hour they realize he's going bad and they try to use a lot of things after coma nobody's over there so uh, did you get any answer from them did no they don't they they make any kind to of have answer. a meeting one meeting like I said the doctor said we are not God we make mistakes too and he was going to die anyways what does that mean that and they I don't have take care of too, that yeah. doctor say he gonna going to die anyway but one doctor cannot say anything he gonna going to die yes, we I try to talk to uh, BMT we try to doctor there then was finally we go to human rights and they are make arrangement September 19 because they are they don't want to sit with us but there right are now lawyers who say this is valid and everything but court cases they're behind closed doors this is out in the open people should know what they're sending their kids to well, we haven't talked with any other patients. We were always so uh, concerned about our own and everything. But there have been complaints, like his roommate once, his mom was very mad. Like, you call the nurse and they don't come for like 20, 30 minutes and stuff. Even the last night that my brother was alive, I was calling the nurse for 30 minutes and they didn't come. Yeah, come forward or, you know, this prevents, the, like, all of this ruining a hospital's reputation. That means that doctors will be more careful now. They don't want anything like this happening again. There is no answer, you know. Nothing they can do can bring him back or bring, do anything. They can't fix this, you know. And we don't need to sue. We don't need to do anything. Uh, due to this malpractice, we lost, we lost, I lost my brother and my parents lost their only son. So many people lost so much and he was getting out the last day, like just half an hour before, he was just dreaming of all he's going to do when he gets out. Nobody ever warned us he was that sick and at the end he was that sick just because of a delayed reaction towards a big infection in his lungs. The doctors never gave any importance to this like who's a heart patient and a cancer patient and stuff that's completely wrong and he's a 14 years old his uh, height is six foot he play basketball in usa clippers junior clippers 
and he's a lot of time in Istanbul center and he have a lot of dream uh, due to that reason your that's mother got a heart attack yes that's the reason my mom saw his uh, grandson then she have a stroke and right the way she is hospital hospital return so she's it affect all, all your family right? yes all like if, what do you want to see that we don't uh, you want, want to, to we, don't, we don't want it any anybody die like him we don't want it anybody is i don't care what religious what I don't want it anybody die like him. You know, that's the negligence of hospital. In fact, he have a bone marrow transplant. My daughter gave him bone marrow transplant. That mass is 100%. And doctor told me when he have a mass is 100%, nobody can die like this. But unfortunately, they have negligence. I'm asking for doctor why he have a big fungus, why you don't catch them things. They don't have any kind of answer. They don't give him any kind of answer. They don't have any answer. Even we try to meet them in the hospital. They don't want to sit with us. So finally, right now, we have a meeting with our uh, human rights. They arrangement something. Mm -hmm. So they say September 19 should be they're going to sit with us. So let's see September 19 what kind of answer they give it to us. Then maybe we can tell you guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Keep informed. Okay. We want to make justice because that was medical negligence and um, I think it was very fair. I wouldn't like it if they did that to me or to someone I know. And I think it was very unfair. I think it was very messed up. And I think the hospitals should get sued. I think it affects um, the community because many families are kind of like destroyed and everything. And People need to raise awareness so they could know what, what's happening in the children's hospital. And save future lives. I've heard a lot about malpractices in the children's hospital and this, this would just add on to another one. Justice first! Justice first! Justice first! As a community uh, activist and uh, leader, you you do you see this kind of malpractice been happening where because of the, our race, color, or something like that? Uh, actually, this is for negligence for the uh, our and doctors. This before also happened one uh, case I know that in North Hollywood, and this is the second one. And that especially I think this I blame the hospital administration and the doctors. So what do you want to see uh, uh, this outcome after that? I just said we want to see this in future. They are very big careful. They, they know and especially they take care of the all the uh, people who come in the hospital patient this is their responsibility everything on the god but second thing is the doctor is responsible and this is our message a strong message to them to please in future you, you guys don't do this mistake so this one happened to like further patients like it happened to my friend because it really hurts to lose someone I like, really close to cancer bhalo hoye geche amar me tik bon mero jokhon dise tokhon cancer bhalo hoye geche kintu she mara geche lung infection ha jokhon naki she komate chole geche tokhon ta ader mission bondho chilo sat gota e jonno she komate chole geche tin So I know that is a very, very deep loss, hope nobody really go through with the pain you are having right now. So God give you strength. Okay? Alright, thank you. We support you. Thank you.